This video shows you how to share and printing report files between users and how to replace an existing report file. Let's look at an example where a developer has an end printing report for PowerPoint that she wants to share with someone else in her organization. Here is the developer's end printing report. The report includes a name and description and on-demand report generation and dynamic naming are enabled. The report also contains several filters. When sharing and printing reports, all the selected options and associated filters are included in the report file. When the developer wants to share the report, she clicks on the Export button. Before she shares the file, she can select whether to add a password to protect the report, but this is optional. She clicks Download and the exported and printing report file is saved to her Downloads folder. Now she can send this file to someone else in her organization. The user who receives the file must have the password to access the file, and they must have an end printing connection to the same data source. In this example, the developer built her report using data from a ClickSense app. The other user must have a connection to the same ClickSense app, and they must be able to access all the ClickSense objects that are used in the report. The user selects the app to which the report is connected. Then they browse to the report file and enter the password. The report details show the user the name of the report, the description, and it shows the report type and the app to which it is connected. Click End Printing automatically detects the connection that fits with the imported report file. When End Printing imports a report file, it checks the existing filters in End Printing and compares them to the filters that are being imported with the report. In this example, the first imported filter does not have any identical or similar filters, but the second one does. In this case, the user creates a new filter for the filter with no matches. After the user selects the filters, they see a summary page that shows the import details. Here is what the imported report looks like. Like the original, it has all the same report options, including the selections for dynamic naming and on-demand report generation. On the filter page, we see the filter selections made by the user. In this example, a user imported the report as a new report. It is also possible to import a report file that replaces an existing report. As before, the user selects the report file to import and then enters the password if it is password protected. They select the report connection and click Next. In this example, there are no filters associated with the report. The Import Summary dialog shows which report is being replaced. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.